Okay, what is this? Super Bros Kung Fu Mari? What's going on guys? So in this box right here, I have what I'm calling a fake NES. I bought it for 25 bucks on eBay and I'll show you a picture on the screen right now. Uh, but as you can see, it, it looks exactly like an NES, but of course they don't advertise it as an NES. They advertise it as a TV, video game console, mini retro game console, 620 built-in video classic games. So obviously that's a big jumble of words. I'm not really sure what to make of it other than the fact that it looks exactly like an NES. So let's go ahead and open it up and we're gonna see what it comes with. And then we're gonna plug it in and see how it plays. Uh, make sure it works and stuff. But surprisingly, it did ship from the US. Usually stuff like this comes from um, China or something. But this one came from somewhere in New York, I think. And let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so I came in this kind of cheap bagged packaging, but it's actually a box inside. So if we flip it over to the front, it's called a Texas Deluxe. How, how on earth did you come up with that name? A Texas Deluxe, it says, classic game 620 classic games built in um now i'll be interested to see if it's actually like real nes games or if it's just like random random weird mini games so it says mini game anniversary edition entertainment system built in 620 classic games see the setup guide and play instructions at the bottom of the box so that's just it's just a huge jumble of words it's like they just put every keyword they could find and jumbled it into one big sentence so on the bottom it says set it up uh, basically power up your game console, connect it to your TV. Um, it comes with two controllers apparently. Press power button, you can choose a game. And note the second controller port two will only work when selecting the two player option of the second selected game. Okay, start playing, exit game, pause game. So, seems pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Texas Deluxe, that's, that's just great. I don't know where they got that from. Um, so here it is, it, it kind of replicates a, uh, NES Classic, I guess, because it's really small. So here, I guess this is our power cord for our actual console. Pretty standard, it's a uh, micro USB, or not micro, mini USB, which nobody uses those things anymore. We got our AV cables, so I guess you plug in the aux cable to the console, AV couple cables to the TV. We got our controllers, which as you can see, looks exactly like an NES controller, except they added two more buttons. So you got A and B, and then TB and TA. That's, those are some odd names for buttons. I'm not sure what the T stands for, but that's, that's really interesting. Let's see if you can zoom in on there and see A, B, T, A, T, B, start, select. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, and then of course you got your, your cable seems decently long. Can't really tell, maybe, uh, maybe four to, four to six feet, maybe. Pretty light controller, but also pretty cheap. And we've got another controller, same thing, same deal. And then here is our main attraction, the actual console. This thing is, this thing's tiny. <laughs> and, dude, it, it's exactly like an NES. I mean, the color is a little bit off. I mean, you got your little grates right here on the right side. You got your, your end pieces right here. And so as you can see, it says entertainment system. And that's pretty similar to the NES because the NES stands for Nintendo Entertainment System. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty clever. Um, got your reset and power button which just look weird. Like the power button looks off. I don't know what about it looks off, but it just looks off. And it's got an LED, I guess, right there. Got your two controller ports. And on the bottom, you got some rubber feet. Um, another little grates, some more grates right here. Got a mini USB, or yeah, mini USB, your aux cord. And yeah, this thing is really small, really light. I'm pretty interested to plug this thing in and see how it works. We also have a user manual down here and probably not gonna tell us anything good. But here, this is interesting right here. We got our built-in 620 games list. So let's take a look at this and see if we can find anything that's actually real. So I am, I am seeing Donkey Kong on here. Uh, a ton of other generic sounding games, but to be honest, a lot of NES games sounded generic just because they were like the OG versions. So they just called it like, you know, basketball. <laughs> they didn't call it like, you know, NBA 2K11 or anything. Yeah, we got Contra, Donkey Kong, Street Fighter. So it sounds like we have some real games. I don't know if maybe some of them are real games, some of them are just these weird fake mini games. I don't know what I don't know how I can call them fake if they're actual games, but um, you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and plug this console in and see what it does. All right, guys. So I got everything hooked up. Got my controller plugged into the console. 
um, got my power and I have this adapter um, for the yellow white and red cables um, because I only have HDMI on my monitor so let's try to go ahead and boot this thing up so as you can see the left side is reset the right side is power if I click power oh we got a light nice so it should be turning on hopefully alright guys so this thing's been on for like a minute and nothing is showing up on my screen um, what I think maybe the issue is my adapter I might have to go try to get a different power adapter and see if that'll work and so when I say adapter I'm referring to this little adapter that converts my um, component inputs to HDMI I think my power cable is bad I just went and replaced this power cable with another power cable and a power brick and I just got a blue screen up here so it appears that something is happening now so let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see if it does something now Ooh, there we go alright so it boots up pretty quickly and what is the scenery so let's try to figure this out so that looks like some mountains and a bird flying into the sun potentially uh, I'm not sure we'll see if the controller works maybe not okay wow this controller is cheap the start button gets stuck every time I click it <laughs> um, maybe I put it into the wrong port I don't know but it's not letting me do anything none of the buttons I press do anything uh, <laughs> let me try to put it into the port on the right side and see if it does something um, and yeah all these everything about this console seems so cheap which is not surprising I mean it's only 25 bucks alright so I got it shoved into the right port now there it goes so that's that's odd I'm pretty sure on the the real NES the left port is player one and the right port is player two but I'm not 100% sure um, but yeah you can scroll through and apparently there's just like a million different games Oh, they got Mario. What is Mario 10, 12, and 14? I'm not quite sure what that means. And yeah, I mean, they said there was like, what, like 620 games? Yeah. It goes forever. Let's go up and try um, one of the Mario games, just because everybody knows Mario. So let's try this Mario 10. I press start, and <laughs> it is fake Mario. What? Okay, what is this? Super Bros Kung Fu Mari? Dude, it is completely fake. That's hilarious. This is hilarious. He's running automatically. I'm not pressing anything. Maybe I haven't started yet? Dude, this is hilarious. They actually made, like, fake Mario games. You can jump with A. B is punch. Oh, Mario can punch? Dude, what? Mario can punch and kick. I guess they call it like Kung Fu Mario or something. Alright guys, I'm trying this with one hand, so I apologize, but... Dude, Mario can punch. Apparently he can't punch very well though, because... That was useless. <laughs> Dude, this is hilarious. I really want to punch something. Boom. This is hilarious, guys. I can't believe this. All right, let me press the. All right, press the reset button. It took me right back, right back to the home menu. Let's try another iconic game. So, <laughs> Mario is clearly fake. Uh, let's see what else we got. Chip and Dale. Never played this, but I, I feel like we could tell if it was fake or not. Yeah. <laughs> Rescue Rangers. Disney's Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Actually, that seems like it might be real. It just has some Chinese lettering. And I can't read anything. This guy this game might actually be real. I guess if you guys are familiar with this game, let me know down in the comments. Because this might be real. Alright, let's try another game. I'm really curious now. So, I wish there was a faster way to scroll. Oh, there is. There you go. So, Street Fighter. There's a Spider-Man game. Uh, what else we got, though? Bomberman. To be honest, I haven't played a lot of these games, so I, I don't know if they're... If it's a fake game or not. Like, this might be completely real. This might be what the NES game is. 
I guess if you guys are familiar, definitely let me do, know down in the comments. But that, that Mario game was definitely fake. That was actually really funny. Um, <laughs> I, cause I was like, I was fully expecting it to be the real Mario and I popped it up and it was like Kung, Kung Fu Mario or something. Uh, let's see what else we got. So there's chess, Donkey Kong. Here we go. Let's try Kong, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. Okay. Now that looks like real Mon Donkey Kong. I mean, I've played Donkey Kong before, but it's been ages, so... I'm not 100% sure that's real Donkey Kong, but... I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say it is real Donkey Kong. Let's see if we can find something else. That I'm familiar with. Um... Galaga. Yeah, that looks like Galaga. Yeah, that's definitely real Galaga. Um... Oh, whoops. Huh. So it's interesting. It seems like some of these games are real. Some are completely fake. I want to try another one of these Mario games. Dude, yeah, this is hilarious. Like the... Now this one looks a little bit more real. I don't know what kind of Mario game this is, but it... This is, this is definitely a real Mario game right here. Maybe? I don't know. Cause that looks like Mario. I don't know, guys. I'm I'm really confused right now. Um, I guess I'm not the most familiar with Mario games, but it it doesn't help that they don't tell you the exact game. They just say Mario 10, Mario 12, Mario 14. Um, hopefully, somebody down in the comments can help me out and let me know <laughs> which of these are real or not. Uh, I know that first Mario game was definitely not real. There's no way it was real. Let's see if we can find something else. Um. Land. It's kind of interesting that people can get away with selling consoles like these on eBay. I'm sure the listing gets taken down all the time and then they just put it right back up. Nutcracky, what in the world? There's no way this is a real NES game, guys. There's no way. Nutcracky? I'm literally a nutcracker, like a <laughs> what in the world? I just threw a nut at somebody. What the heck is going on? <laughs> All right, guys, this is this is ridiculous. I gotta I gotta stop. I'm gonna go through this later probably and, and try some more games with it. I think this is hilarious. 620 games in this one console. Um, I kind of want to open it up and see what's inside. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of odd that the the first player is on the right side and the second player is on the left side. Um, but I mean, as you guys saw, this looks exactly like an NES. So I'm I'm definitely calling it a fake NES. Um, but as you as I showed you in the picture, they, they definitely do not sell it as an NES, they sell it as some just generic game console. And then to make things even funnier, on the box they call it a Texas Deluxe. I guess relating it to Texas makes it sound American. Maybe it convinces more people to buy it because they think it's American. I don't, I don't know, I think that's pretty funny. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely let me know if there's other games, consoles on eBay that you think I should buy, like these weird, weird fake ones. Um, I'm definitely going to scour through eBay and see what else I can find, but this was this was pretty eye-opening here. Um, that first Mario game I booted up and it was like Kung Fu Mario. That was that was pretty ridiculous. Um, maybe that was a real game. I don't think it was, but definitely let me know down, down in the comments if you know anything more about that. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.